this is Chuck Tomasi from ServiceNow here to show you Mimeo, an intelligent hierarchical data duplicator in ServiceNow. I built Mimeo to solve two common problems I have. The first is when migrating some older global apps to Sculpt. I needed to get the old data into the new tables. Doing this via script is easy enough until it comes to reference fields. More about that in a bit. I also found that I needed to copy some or all of the information from one table to another on a periodic basis for reporting purposes or to grant users with dissimilar roles access to the same information. Mimeo does a great job at both of these. The primary feature of Mimeo is that it copies data intelligently without any scripting. Here's a simple data model of a parent table with a reference to sys user and a child table that references the parent table. I want to copy records from the U underscore tables to the X underscore tables. The red reference arrow indicates I'm going to have problems if I simply copy all the field values from U underscore table underscore B to X underscore SNC underscore Y, because the parent records are not only in different tables, but have different sys IDs after they're created in the new table. However, not all sys IDs need to be recalculated since sys user has what I'll call static data. Defining these maps or sets allows you to group together several dependent tables. And if you've used import sets before, you're likely familiar with the auto mapping and mapping assist features. If not, Mimeo leverages the same easy to use functionality, allowing you to quickly build your mapping sets. Mimeo not only copies the field values and recalculates the necessary sys IDs, it also copies any attachments and image fields. Mimeo also includes the ability to filter the source records so you don't have to copy an entire table. This can speed up large migrations by breaking them into smaller subsets. To make it easier to develop, test, and move your maps into production, Mimeo allows you to capture all of your map settings in an update set for easy migration. And if you run into issues, the configurable log information is there to help, including links to potential trouble spots. And if you don't get your definitions right the first time or you have issues with your source data, just reset and try again. One note, Mimeo does not have the ability to bypass cross-scope protection, so you will need to open it up to do the migration. Let's take a look at a quick demonstration. I have a global app called Now Forum that has some data in it. I've since created a scope version of this same app, and I'd like to migrate the old information to the new tables. Before I begin defining my maps, I'm going to first create an update set to capture this information. This allows me to easily move the information to another instance without exporting and importing the sets, the tables, and the field definitions. The first step in Mimeo is to define a set. A set is a group of tables I want to migrate. This is similar in concept to transform maps if you used import sets in the past, only I group multiple table maps together. Here I define a simple name, and whether I'm going to run business rules on the target table as records are added and removed. I'm going to leave it off so that I don't trigger notifications for people who have already registered for an event. I define the order in which I want to run the tables. Since events is referenced from registrations, I need to make the events table run first so that new records are created and sys IDs for those records generated before registration records get copied over. This is the sole purpose of the order field. Once the tables are defined, I save the record. Now I can tell Mimeo which fields I want to map for each table. For this table, I'll use the link Auto Map Matching Fields. And just like the Transform Map, the system automatically does a pretty good job of mapping fields based on the field name or label. The Registrations table is going to be a bit different. If I use the Auto Mapping feature, I'm going to get over 60 fields when I really only want 5. So instead, I'll use the Mapping Assist. Again, this works just like it does for transform maps. I simply drag the source table fields and the target fields here and click Save. That's it. I've created a set and defined what tables and fields to migrate. Now all that's left to do is run the migration by clicking Execute Now. I noticed from the logs that I had some issues. The error tells me that there's an issue with creating the records. This is most likely because I forgot to open up permissions and let other apps create records in this scope. When I click this link, it takes me to the table definition, and sure enough, I need to allow create, update, and delete access. And I do the same for the registration table. I want to make sure to change these back after the migration is complete to retain the original scope protection. I can use this context menu option to clear the target tables and logs to quickly try again. 
If I don't do this, I'll have duplicate records in the target tables and log files, making it difficult to identify when I've successfully completed the migration. And now I have successful log output. And of course, I've got my successful mappings captured in update sets so Mimeo can make the same migration in test and prod. When I inspect the target data, I see that all events came over, they have related registration records, and similarly, when I look at the registration list, I can see that the events are linked to new event records with the SysIDs intact, proving all references were preserved properly. This Mimeo set is a bit more complex, but it's basically the same definition of source and target tables in a specific order. The difference here is that I'm only grabbing active records from the top table. That means that any related source records must also be filtered. I can do this by dot walking through the reference fields to ensure the same filter is applied where needed. When I run this Mimeo set and take a look at the logs, I see I have some warnings. The records were copied, but not all the fields were copied. Taking a look at the warning, I can see that there's an issue with an invalid reference on the source data. Now I can see that the field is either null or invalid. A null value is copied as a null value, so I'll assume that this is an invalid reference and my source data is bad. Normally, this isn't easy to detect, but Mimeo was able to spot the issue and let me know. So I'll quickly fix the record and all other related records with invalid data. I'll add the category field to the list so I can update these with a list edit. I go back to the set, clear the target tables and logs, and run it again. Now I can see no issues in the logs. It looks like all the records were copied again. I can see that the categories were migrated successfully this time, and also note that the image fields, which are technically attachments, came across as well. To close, Mimeo offers some very powerful and easy to use features to help you migrate multiple related tables quickly through your development lifecycle. These use familiar simple tools to allow you to create table and field definitions. The logs provide informative messages with helpful links. And if things don't work, make corrections, reset the target data and logs, and try again. I hope you find Mimeo useful in your organization. If you have any questions, enhancement ideas, or issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on the community, share portal, or via email. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching this video.